New York City is the place that really embraced me, accepted all the things that I am, all my identity. It's where I found me. So why is my style of cooking is not yet popularized? Um, I'll, you know, this is gonna sound cheesy. <laughs> I had so much creative energy, like creative ideas, and I feel like <laughs> this is gonna sound so stupid. I'm a trendsetter. <laughs> I was petrified posting one of my first dances. I was like, what the F am I gonna be? What am I doing? But then it brings people joy. Um, so not only obviously I'm doing, you know, sharing recipes, but I'm also sharing joy through dancing. Um, everybody asks me, it's like, do you follow a choreography? I'm like, no, I just let my body move to the music that's playing. Hi, my name is Woldy Reyes. I'm the chef and owner of Woldy Cuisina, located in Brooklyn, New York. I'm here to sort of um, harvest some produce uh, for one of my pop-ups. I like to romanticize my food, so having colors and different textures, it really speaks to me. Woldy Cuisina started out as a boutique catering company. And since the pandemic, I shifted to doing um, pop-ups and I modernized Filipino comfort food with a plant-centric twist, knowing that it's homey and stewy and it's very meat forward. I'm wanting to celebrate the produce in a more fresh and modern way. Oh, wait, look! This is a bitter melon. Um, it brings me a lot of really good childhood memories and it's really good for your health. What it tastes like, it's bitter. So I pickle them. I enjoy it in salads now and I enjoy it in like sandwiches. It's how I'm eating today. Um, I'm being a lot more conscious about how we are treating our world and being uh, intentional. Before that, I was like, I, was eating everything and anything. Um, I, I don't know, I think I bring a lot more, like a fresh perspective. Mm, so, nostrosium, it has that slight sweetness, kind of like a, a succulent cactus-like flavor. Again, this is not traditional in Filipino cooking. Traditionally, Filipino food is super delicious and super brown like me. Um, and I just want to celebrate color into it. So delicious. I don't mind brown, but it was mostly brown. And now I think there's a wave of Filipino Americans who are redefining what Filipino food can be. Is it really difficult to be a plant-based Filipino chef. No, you're not a chef if you don't know how to work with vegetables. Hey, hi, hey, hi. <laughs> hi, we're here at Hungry House Kitchen at their Vulcan Navy Yard. Hungry House partners with up-and-coming chefs, just like me, to feature their signature dishes to make them accessible all throughout Brooklyn. <laughs> so the menu I have at Hungry House has mushroom adobo with jasmine rice and baby lacanado kale, pancit noodle salad, mushroom balaklak with Fresno coconut sauce, and babinka, which is the Filipino coconut rice cake, which is all plant-based and gluten-free. Pancit is Filipino stir-fried noodles. So the dressing has tamari, has sweet chili sauce, has ginger, garlic, and my approach to pancit was to make it sort of a colorful salad. I think I had this sort of um, love-hate relationship with food. I was a chubby kid. 
growing up, I think there was all this shame about my identity, my Filipino American heritage, and also I have a hearing disability and was gay, but at that time I didn't know what that word was. So I think eating in excess was a way for me to comfort myself. In a traditional pancit, all the vegetables are supposed to be cooked. This is a great way to enjoy pancit in a fresher way. I th also saw like my dad you know, ate in excess and, you know, uh, and it caught up with him and he was diagnosed with diabetes. And, and unfortunately, like he passed away uh, of a heart attack. That experience shifted my mindset. I had to like train myself to eat more healthfully. My next signature dish is the adobo mushroom and rice. Traditionally, adobo has pork, chicken, and my approach to this adobo has uh, mataki mushrooms, trumpet mushroom, and my adobo sauce has creamy coconut milk, umami tamari, uh, lots of specks of black pepper in here, so you can see that it is Filipino adobo. Was your dad a big part of your life? My dad was a big, definitely a big part um, in how I cook my food now. Um, he was unapologetically Filipino. It ain't Filipino food without the jasmine rice on the table or on the plate. We cooked Filipino food, we ate rice every day, we sat at a table, we ate with our hands. I'm getting emotional just thinking about my dad. Um, <laughs> I didn't know this was gonna come. Growing up was like being in the kitchen with my grandmother and my dad. I was just sort of like in love with the process. You know, Filipinos, the way they show love is through food. Like that's how they show love. We never really said I love you a lot, but food was just that thing that showed me love. So I treat food now as my creative expression. For me, like, I want to romanticize food, make people feel excited, make people feel hopeful. It makes me feel good. You know, one of the important things is the collaborations that I do with other chefs. I wanted to work in a space that, like, it's gonna uplift me. So I've always gravitated towards women, people of color, queer, LGBTQIA, because they're all my people and they're my community. If I'm doing a job and that's gonna pay me, I'm gonna keep it in that community. We all know how hard it is to be our authentic self, and we're all there for a common goal, it's to nourish somebody. The Woldy Cuisine experience should be like a multi-century experience. Food is the center of it, and then everything that surrounds it should be reflective of that. I'm on still on this ongoing journey of like fully accepting myself and all of the things that I am. I'm a bold person. I'm wearing a bold sweater. So I think that shows in in how I approach my food and how I want to share my food. I want it to be exciting. I'm exciting. I want to educate people to utilize vegetables in Filipino cooking. And I'm glad that, that we're being more visible and desirable. So I'm going to celebrate that. That's all for this episode of Food Curated. I'm Liza DeGia. Be sure to connect with us on social media and eat more stories. I'll see you next week.